we will now do the yellow triangular piece at the back of the toy here. So to do this, I would draw a triangle, first an equilateral triangle. So I'm going to draw it the distance across, which is 60 degrees between. This is the distance between the center of the two circles, which will make sense in a few minutes, hopefully. I'm going to then draw out another line at 60 long. And if I then tap, press the tab button, it jumps to the angle. So I'm going to enter 60, obviously for an equilateral triangle. They are all the same length and angles. So 60 and 60. Then press L and finish it off from here to here. And that should be exactly 60 and 60 again, which it is. So zoom in. And then I'm going to select, hold on the shift key to select all three lines, right click on it and construct those lines. Then use the circle tool. I'm going to draw circles, pressing C on the keyboard every time. Go to the center here. Quite get that 12. One down here, just make sure they're in the center of the lines by looking for the triangle that appears when you're at the center. All right, so now <clears throat> I'm going to do it slightly bigger by 20. On the three. circles here. This one, this one, and this one. Then press L for line and I'm going to simply draw a line down from this edge of the top circle to this circle and do the same again. Just left click and drag away from it until you see that little tangential symbol appear again. So you know the line is meeting the edge of this circle perfectly. And that is the shape you want. But as before, you've got lots of lines you don't want, so let's just trim them away. Pressing the T tool for trim, getting rid of these lines. And that's it. Finish the sketch. Flip it back over. Strew and same as before, only three mil, three or four mil span. Again, you can decide the distances as long as they look correct. Again, I'm going to fill up the edge here and the edge there by a tiny amount, one mil maximum. You can see it appearing. Just to zoom in, so you can see what that does. It just rounds off the corners, so they're not at the perfect sharp 90 degrees. Save again.